Shut up, double chin. You're making me look bad. So, it's the morning, isn't it? Yes, and guess who got mail? Me. Mail call. Look what I got in the mail, guys. I got a four pack of Superman action figures. Why do you care? You don't, but it's my vlog, so I'm gonna show it anyway. <laughs> Seriously though, check this out. Look, we have Jim Lee. That's his sculpt version. We have John Byrne, one of the greatest artists of the 80s. We have, this is the classic original Superman, what he looked like when he first came out. And we have this piece of crap right here that no one cares about. Least of all me. I don't care. Also, we got this one. Guy Gardner, this one's from 2001. This one's really hard to find and usually quite expensive, but as usual, I got it off eBay for a song. Because why? Because eBay addict, that's why. Here, I'll give you a closer look. Look at that, check it out. He's a ginger, which is cool with me, and he's got a bowl cut. Look at that smirky, smirky, smarmy face he's got on him right there. Now, why do you care? Obviously, maybe, probably, you don't care because you're a grown-up, and grown-ups don't collect toys, right? You're not supposed to like toys when you're a grown-up. Well, this grown-up does, right here. Look him in the eyes, take a good look, because he collects toys. Hey, admit it, if you have kids, you've gone down the toy aisle, if you're a girl, and you've been like, I played with when I was a kid and they re-released it. I'm gonna get that for little Stacy and bring it home and she can play with it and really when no one's looking I'm gonna play with it and if my little girl tries to play with it and she gets it all scratched I'm gonna be like don't touch it! Or maybe you're a dude and you take your little boy shopping and you're going down the toy aisle and if you're my age you see all the Transformers and the Ninja Turtles and the superhero stuff that you saw in the toy aisle when you were a kid and you're like oh man and you get all nostalgic and then you buy the toys for your kid to play with, right? Well, guess what? You're also buying them for you because you're buying those memories and all the nostalgia and you're putting it in your shopping cart and you're like, cool, I have an Optimus Prime in here that my son's gonna play with. And you know that as soon as he goes to bed, you're tinkering with it. I know you are, I know you are. Don't be stupid with me. You are playing with Optimus Prime as we speak. I can tell. I know these things. I know these things. Just a little diet update for me and Margaret. Something happened a while back where that whole sugar thing happened. We were like, we're not going to have sugar. And it was a noble cause. It was a good thing to do, except for it wreaked havoc with our bodies. I started cheating on my diet. And for the first time in a long time, I'll let you tell them. I'll let, just let you tell them. We were gaining weight. Yeah, and what did I go up to? You gained like 10 pounds. I went up to 262. 262 people! Two. 262. And I was down to 250 and I was staggering below that a little bit. I gained 10 freaking pounds! 10 pounds! Average. That's crazy. I'm now back down below 260 again. But look at this. You might have noticed I'm all pudgy in the pudgy face department. I hate it. And I want it to go away again. Because I like to be able to see my face. I don't feel like I look like me when my face is all chubby and pudgy. I want to look like I did when I was like 26, okay? Even though I'm 36. That's not realistic, is it? Shut up, yes it is. Ooh, the mailman's came. Let's go check the mail, let's go check the mail. Let's go check the mail, let's go check the mail. Oh, I got the package. Another package. What else did I get? Oh, junk mail. Yep, nothing else in there. Just a package, junk mail. Mm. All right. Well, you can probably guess what this is too, right? It's a never toy. Don't worry, I won't make you open it. I won't, I, I won't make you. Yes, I, I'll make you watch. Margaret, I need you to record me opening that package because I can't do it all at the same time. Okay, well, let me adult here for a moment and make our kids breakfast. <laughs> Dude, say good morning. Hey, Captain Blurry Pants. Say good morning right here. Say good morning. Say hello. Oh, he's being snobby. Oh, look at him. Oh, cheese, Mom. I'll give you some cheese if you say good morning. Say good morning and then we'll get you cheese. Uh. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got to put more into it than that, you lazy sod. Come on, say, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is that is worth some cheese. Here's a whole block of cheese that's been opened. Oh my God, Mr. Temper Tantrum Boy, here you go. You can cut him some cheese. Mom's gonna cut the cheese. 
Yep, you got your cheese, good boy. Awesome, you can go play now. Bye bye. Thanks for saying good morning. Thanks for stopping by. Also, I want to give a quick update and say, I've got a new channel, it's called Mr. Vloginson. It's all mine. It's my channel, mine, 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 and I can do what I want with it, when I want, because I want. Ugh. So, you should go and subscribe to it. If anything I do or say entertains you, inspires you, interests you at all, this channel's mine, and you should come and check it out. It's simple, just look up Mr. Vloginson. There is no other Mr. Vloginson on YouTube, because I'm the only one. Boom, 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 boom. What is for breakfast, Margaret, in the kitchen? Do, 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 do. Don't you want to sing with me this breakfast song? Considering I sound like a frog this morning. <laughs> she thinks she sounds just like a frog. She's making oatmeal in the pot, but me and her will probably just have eggs. Yeah. Do 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> I've always wanted to live. Seriously, for real. I've always wanted to live one day of my life, one day, just one, as a musical. I know. Who doesn't want to live one day of their life as a musical? Wouldn't you do it? You have to live at Disneyland. <laughs> you can make your own home Disneyland. Why can't, why do we have to go to the Magic Kingdom? Why can't we bring the Magic Kingdom here to our street? Huh? Why does the Magic Kingdom got to be someplace far away that we'll never be able to afford to go because we're cheap ass bums? Jeez! Disneyland, what are you thinking? Come to Ontario. Set up shop in my house. Send Mickey and Goofy. I've always wanted to ride Goofy. I know he's not a horse. Kind of looks like a horse. Is Goofy a horse dog? I think he's a horse dog. Anyway, you want an update on what's happening in our household? The next scene will do that. You ready? Boom! Crap! I actually opened up the thing I was going to open up and I was going to get you to watch me open it up, but then I forgot to hit record on the camera so you can watch me do it all in reverse. Ready? Hey, this is Blue Beetle from DC Direct. Really hard to find. Got it for a song. You know the drill. Let's put it back in. Seriously though, I can kick myself. This one is usually about 60 bucks. 60 dollars. I found it for like 10% of that on eBay and I was like cool I got a deal yeah and then I looked and look at that the little buggers missing a finger missing a finger how is he gonna point at stuff people are gonna be like hey where's the such and such and he's gonna be like it's over there and they're gonna be like where I can't tell where you're pointing at he's like it's over there it's over there and they're gonna be like no sorry I just don't know you understand? You need to have a pointer finger, and I didn't notice until I looked on the eBay listing after, just to make sure that everything was cool and copacetic. And then I saw in the picture, it was like, that's why it's so cheap. He's missing his darn pointer finger. Okay, so the moral of the story very clearly is, make sure that you read the eBay listings very carefully, because you never know what you're gonna get if you don't. Case in point, Margaret, face. Tell them about the Martian Manhunter. The Martian Manhunter arrived Man covered in pee. Its cape was caked in thick dog pee. It was so gross. It was so nasty. You know what pee does? It like starts to like gunkify and get thick. That's what it was like. And the smell. Yeah. It was horrible. We had to use a toothbrush and all kinds of cleaners to get it cleaned up. But we still have it. <laughs> we also got the stinky Batman. I bought a Batman one time that literally it smelled like it had been sitting. Onions in a fat man's armpit who had been eating nothing but onions for the last 20 years and he'd been sweating all over it. It was gross. Pressing his nasty armpit moles all over it. What? You used to hide under my pillow as a joke. I did. And then she used to put it in my underwear drawer. Hey, you're wrecking my hat. You're wrecking my hat. Ah! There we go. New home for Blue Beetle and a new home for Guy Gardner right there on the geek shelf. Oh, so. Anyone who is not new to this channel knows that Wednesday around here is comic book day. I don't always record it because I don't want to record the exact same thing every single Wednesday, but on Wednesdays, 
I get comics. And also anybody who's been to this channel before knows that the place I used to get my comic books from called Dixon's, Steve got sick and then everything kind of went down the toilet and took a crap and I couldn't get them for a long time. I had to go to a new place and they finally got their act together and they're starting to get my back issues to me, my back orders and my current issues. So today's comic book day, I don't want to show you what I got. Supergirl Rebirth, number one. Superman Rebirth, number five. And I also got this issue of Justice League, issue number three. So yay, you made it to the end of the vlog. It's time to finish it off. But I also wanted to tell you guys a really exciting thing that happened to me today. Well, to us, to our family. There she is. Little Autumn was born today. This is our new little niece. My sister totally rocked this. She had to go under cesarean section because this baby was breech and not the kind of breech that you want to deliver naturally. For those out there who are anti-c-section and are like, she could have done it naturally. Well, no, she couldn't. And in this case, the c-section was the necessary thing. So I am so super proud of my sister. She did awesome. And the older brother, our little Ben, is super excited to be a big brother now with a little sister. So anyway, that's our happy news for today. And hopefully we'll get to meet this little girl soon. I don't know when. Mary's still resting. I think she got like an hour of sleep before she had to do the whole ordeal. So today has been a sleep day and nursing the baby and all that fun stuff. New mommy stuff where they smell all nice and I can't wait to meet her and feel her little pudginess. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you waiting for? Because then you can see us every day and check us out, all of our new stuff that we put up. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Brain fart! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! See ya!